Hello everyone, I'm Jumbo. Welcome to Swahili Kingdom and today we are going to do top 10 words or verbs that you can use in a job or for a job. For example, we have to retire, to hire and so many other verbs. So if you, are, you want to come to Kenya or Tanzania and you want to talk to your friend about your job, your retirement, if you are planning to get a job here or to get a retirement or a, a company has fired some people, you need to know this verb so that you may not be. Because one of the reasons is not everyone in Kenya or not everyone in Tanzania knows the meaning of to fire. Maybe they know it in Swahili. So if you know it in Swahili, it will be easier for them. Remember, when you talk to a man in a language they understand, it will go to his brain. But when you talk to a man in their native language, it will go to his heart. So make sure you know where you want to hit. Is it the brain or the heart? Let's start. To be hired. To be hired. Kuandikwa kazi. Kuandikwa kazi. For example, Bakari aliandikwa kazi na kampuni ya ABCD. Jana jioni. Bakari aliandikwa kazi na kampuni ya ABCD jana jioni. Bakari was hired by ABCD company yesterday evening to get a job kupata kazi. To get a job kupata kazi. Example. Bakari alipata kazi kwa kampuni ya ABCD jana jioni. Bakari alipata kazi kwa kampuni ya ABCD Jana Gion. Bakari got a job from the ABCD company yesterday evening. Remember he was hired. Aliandikwa. Right now, he has a job. Alipata kazi. He got a job. To earn. To earn money. Kupata pesa. To earn money kupata pesa or kupata mshahara. Pesa is money. Then mshahara is a salary. Money that you get at the end of every month. For example, Bakari anapata mshahara mzuri sana. Bakari anapata mshahara mzuri sana. Bakari gets a nice salary. Bakari gets a nice salary. To get paid. To get paid or be paid. Kulipwa pesa or kulipwa mshahara. Mshahara is the one you are paid by the end of every month. And then pesa is just money. Pesa is just money. Or you can say riziki, a living. Riziki, a living. For example, bakari hulipwa, bakari hulipwa kila musho wa mwezi. Bakari hulipwa mshahara kila musho wa mwezi. Bakari is paid a salary at the end of every month. To be promoted, kupandishwa cheo. To be promoted, kupandishwa cheo. Bakari alipandishwa cheo mwezi uliopita. Bakari alipandishwa cheo mwezi uliopita. Bakari was promoted last month. By the way, we have talked so much about Bakari and we are going to talk more about Bakari. So, remember to go and, for Bakari's sake, remember to go and watch the video for Bakari, a story for Bakari. We have highlighted, um, the meaning, the words that are connected to Bakari and there are some words that you learn inside the story. So here is the link for the video. For the sake of Bakari, go and watch his video. To be demoted. Kushushwa cheo. Kushushwa cheo. To be demoted. This is when you are, you are demoted to a lower level that the, than where you, all, you are because maybe you did something wrong. For example... Bakari alifanya kosa moja tu, akashushwa cheo. Bakari alifanya kosa moja tu, akashushwa cheo. Bakari made only one single mistake and he was demoted. <laughs> to be fired, to be fired, kufutua kazi, kufutua kazi. This is when um, you are fired or you are told to leave the job because maybe you did something wrong and now they don't want you in the company anymore. So to be fired, kufutu wakazi. For example, 
Juma alifutwa kazi baada ya kuiba pesa za kampuni. Juma alifutwa kazi baada ya kuiba pesa za kampuni. Juma was fired after stealing money for the, from the company. Juma was fired after stealing money from the company. So you are fired after you have done something wrong that, that the company cannot tolerate. To be laid off, to be laid off, kuachishwa kazi, kuachishwa kazi. Now here is the is where the difference comes between kufutwa kazi and kuachishwa kazi. Kufutwa kazi is where the company does not want you anymore because you did a mistake that they cannot tolerate. And kuachishwa kazi is when the company now tells you, they, they tell you you cannot continue working anymore, maybe because they are bankrupt or they are closing the company. For example, Bakari aliachishwa kazi kwa sababu kampuni ilikuwa inafunga. Bakari aliachishwa kazi kwa sababu kampuni ilikuwa inafunga. Bakari was laid off from a job because the company was closing. Bakari was laid off from a job because the company was closing. Kufutwa kazi to be fired. Kuachishwa kazi to be laid off. To be fired is when you have committed a mistake and the company cannot tolerate it anymore so they fire you, they tell you to go. But kuachishwa kazi to be laid off is when the company maybe is, has gone bankrupt or maybe they are closing down so they are laying off the employees or maybe they are cutting off their costs so it depends kuacha kazi kuacha kazi to quit or to resign this is where you get tired of the work i don't know if you get tired of work you get tired of the work and then you decide to resign and go get another work or another job for example, aliacha kazi baada ya kupata kazi nyingine iliyo nzuri zaidi. Aliacha kazi baada ya kupata kazi nyingine iliyo nzuri zaidi. She quit work or she resigned after getting another job that was more better. She resigned after getting another job that was more better. To retire, to retire, kujiuzulu, kujiuzulu to retire. Mjomba wangu alijiuzulu mwezi uliopita. Mjomba wangu alijiuzulu mwezi uliopita. My uncle resigned. My uncle retired last month. My uncle retired last month. That's all for the video. Thank you so much and I hope you have enjoyed. So when you are talking to someone about the job, about a retirement or about the job you are going to get, make sure you use these words. These 10 words they are the key to their heart okay don't talk to their brain speak to their heart so that they can understand you okay until next time bye don't forget to go and get the pdf for this lesson use the link in the description box below to go and download the lesson right now before seven days or it will not be there anymore bye